Hey guys, it's Boxro. Welcome back to another video. Today in Fallout 76, I'm gonna be talking about how to get nuclear key cards. Uh, I went ahead and covered this in my nuke guide, um, but I figured it could also make for a decent standalone video in case you're seeking nuke cards or you already know how to run a silo. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the ways that you can get the nuclear key cards. One way to get nuclear key cards is through the Atomic Shop. You can get a nuclear key card with the free item in the special uh, offer section. Uh, another way to get nuclear key cards is through the scoreboard. So sometimes there will be a scoreboard reward like this one right here. Nuclear key card times five. So that's five nukes right there. And that can occur like anywhere on the scoreboard and in future scoreboards. And it's been on past scoreboards as well. So those are the two methods to get scoreboards uh, passively without you really doing anything to directly get them. For the next part, it is going to require you to be a Enclave General. So if you're not a part of the Enclave and you're not an Enclave General yet, or you just need a guide for that, I'll have that linked in the description and I'll walk you through becoming a Enclave member and then an Enclave General. Uh, but once you're an Enclave General, we're going to go ahead and head to the actual Enclave Bunker and we can start up a quest that can allow us to farm these nuclear key cards. I'm going to go ahead and use the quick entrance. If you want, you can use the white spring bunker entrance, but I went ahead and discovered the white spring service entrance, which is like a faster way into the enclave. And for those of you who haven't discovered the uh, quick entrance into the enclave, you can actually just go behind the white spring resort. And there's going to be this structure on the map right here behind the resort. It's kind of across from the, um, from the power substation. And just on the back right here, there's going to be a door and like a little garage and uh, yeah this leads straight into the enclave production area so it's much faster and uh, that was actually <laughs> told to me by somebody from my live stream chat um, but let's go ahead and head to the military wing so I'm gonna go through here and out through this way and then I believe military wing should be down this way yeah we want to just go in, into the military wing and then we want to go up to command and once we're in command there's going to be a console uh right here on our left at this red console and we can access the surveillance system terminal and we when we access this terminal uh this is how you get the code pieces but you can also do the nuclear key card escort and this will go ahead and give us a quest to track down a nuclear key card drone and then get the key card from it um, and this quest is repeatable, so after you get this quest, hide and seek and destroy, you can pretty much rinse and repeat after you complete it, and farm as many key cards as you need for all the silos that you need to run. I'll go ahead and show you guys what the quest looks like. So now that we have it tracked and active, I'm gonna go ahead and look around the map to see where the area is. Looks like the robot or the cargo bot is gonna be down here and it can kind of spawn in completely random locations. Um, I'm sure there's like some areas where it'll commonly spawn, but for the most part, it's kind of all around the map. If you ever wanna find it really easily on the map, you can just go to tab, go to data, navigate to the quests, right here is hide and seek and destroy. And then for me, since I'm on PC, I can hit C, which is show on map and then it'll show you where it is on the map. That's the quickest way other than just like scrolling around the map or panning around the map to try and find it. Um, but either way it works. So now that we're here, we can look around and we should see a cargo bot with three vertebrates flying around somewhere. And the cargo bot will sort of fly around and like once you destroy it, it will drop the key card below it. So this is where it is right here. And they'll always be neutral, so they won't attack you outright until you start opening fire. I recommend using a weapon with a very fast bullet speed or like a hitscan weapon. Uh, something like the plasma caster isn't as good because it's a lot harder to actually land your shots, but something like the Gatling gun will be faster or a lot easier to land your shots. Or if you use VATS, that's good too. So we'll take out each of these Vertibots. And uh, a viewer commented on my previous video saying that if you take out all three of the Vertibots, then the cargo bot will hover around you which makes it a lot easier to take out. So if you're having issues with the cargo bot flying like far away, then take out the vertibots first and it should hopefully make that easier. <laughs> and then right here we see we have the cargo. So once it drops, we can go ahead and just do steal from. And then it's just gonna be a level zero skill lock. So you don't need prick cards for this. We'll lock pick it. And then as soon as you lock pick it, 
it's gonna start a countdown. Yeah, so it starts self-destruct, and anybody else around you can also uh, take a key card from the container as well. Um, but after a little bit of time, it's gonna self-destruct, like the the box kind of just said. And then after this, we can go ahead and head back to the enclave bunker. And then once we're back in the enclave, we can just navigate to the military wing again. Once we're in the military wing, we go back up to command and we're back at the surveillance system terminal. And so, as you can see, I tried to take the quest again, but it actually doesn't give you the quest. So there's no targets available, and that's because there's going to be one cargo bot per server. Uh, and then it goes on cooldown after it's destroyed or taken out. Uh, so the next best thing that you can do is server hop and then come back to the surveillance system terminal and try again. And if it hasn't been taken on that server, then you should be able to accept the quest. Um, sometimes you can also find these cargo bots flying randomly without even tracking the quest. So if you ever see them flying around, you can always collect them for a or shoot them down for a free Nico keycard. And that's pretty much going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. If you have any positive or negative feedback, also let me know. That way I can improve. But otherwise, until next time.